Hello everyone, welcome to Bottom Science. So today we are going to learn how to plot 3D vectors using Python. In our previous video, I have shown you that how to plot 2D vectors using Python. So this is our playlist which is related to Python and I will be adding more videos here. So make sure you follow this playlist to learn how to do some cool things with the help of Python. And I would like to recommend this video just because uh, I have covered lots of basic things in this video. So please go and watch this video to understand the basics of plotting there. Now let's come back to our current agenda that is plotting 3D vectors. So let's start this video. So first we have to install few libraries of Python that is matplotlib and numpy. So before using them, make sure that you have installed them. And if you do not know how to install them, then we have a tutorial on our website. So from here, you can learn how to install a few libraries that you require during plotting. So this is the way in Windows, this is the way in Linux, and this is the way in Mac OS. So from here, you can learn how to install these libraries. So let's come back to our Jupyter Notebooks to know how to plot 3D vectors. So I'm importing few libraries here. So these are the two libraries I will be required uh, during this tutorial. So make sure that you have imported them. Now we have to create a 3D figure and set the projection to 3D. So for that, we have to write a few lines of code that is fig equal to plt dot figure. So this code will do uh, is uh, getting figure from the plotting library that is matplotlib. So we'll get figure and then we have to uh, get the projection into 3D. So how you can do that? You can create another variable for that. That is fig dot add subplot and projection you can mark it as 3D. So what these two lines will do is I can show you that here plt dot show. So you can see that what these two lines means. So let's remove this line first because we have to add vectors here, 3D vectors here. So now we have to create our vector. I'm using a list to create a vector that is vector v1 and I'm using a list here. So my vector is 1, 2, 3. So uh, these are the components of the vector that is uh, ith, jth and kth component of the vector. Now we have to use quiver function to plot our vector. So I'm using this uh, subplot and in that subplot I'm plotting that vector using quiver function. So quiver function is nothing but the function which helps you to plot vector. So first we have to provide the origin of the vector that is the 0, 0, 0. that is generic origin we are providing to our vector and another thing is we have to provide the indices that is i, j and k component of the vector we have to provide that is uh, you, we are using list for that and now we can provide this and after that you can provide color to your vector if you want a different color that is I'm using red color here so you can use your favorite color here so this is the actual plot that we have done. Now you have to set limits to your vector plot that is uh, uh, so that your vector looks vector plot look looks good and you can use this these functions here and for example I'm putting limit from minus 3 to 3 and similarly you can use limits for y and z axis. So I'm using same limits for all these three axes. Now what you have to do is uh, you can pl uh, give uh, labels to these uh, axes. So there's a small function here, x label. I'm using generic labels here, x, y, and z. So these are similar functions for every axis. So just y and z you have to put here and uh, you can change these names. And this is the actual label that you have done. And now other thing you can, if you want to do, uh, give the title to your plot, then you can provide a title, for example, 3D vector plot. So this is the title of your graph. So now you can use that uh, important function to finally show the graph into this. So 
I'm using this plt.show function to actually show our vector. So as you can see that our vector is visible here. And if you go and check that this vector one, two, three, then I think it is showing us correct thing. Uh, if, if this arrow looks bad to you, this arrow looks ugly to you. What you can use is there's another, uh, there is an another uh, attribute of this uh, query function, which is called arrow length underscore ratio. That is the ratio of arrow length to the vector. So I'm just uh, reducing that ratio so that our ve vector looks good. So here you can see that it is looking much better than the previous. So this is the way to plot 3D vectors using query function. So in case you want to plot two vectors, then you what you have to do is create another vector here. So for example, I'm creating another vector here. That is minus two, one and four I'm using here. So this is my another vector. Then again, you have to use the same function. You have to use the same function and change these things to vector two. And I'm using another color for another vector to identify it. So I'm using blue and everything is same other than that. And now just you have to run this and you can see another vector is visible here. So this is how you can plot 3D vectors in a very simple way using Quiver function and matplotlib library. One thing I want to mention is that uh, the code of this program is available on our website. So, so if you go to this section, Python section of our website, there is a plotting section here where you can see 3D plots and the code to related to this uh, Python program and explanation with the explanation. So this is the this is our website where you can find another resources here. So I hope I hope you have liked this video and so if you have any doubts regarding this video, you can post that doubt in the comments below. I will try to answer it. So thanks for watching it. See you soon.